What's up guys, it's Ivory. So this is gonna be part one of many parts of the beginner guide. And basically, basically what this guide is gonna be going through on the first part is how to utilize your gems at the start, what you wanna look for and what you wanna buy. And you know, just how to use the events that you get at the start to your advantage. Now, many things people might not know is there's gonna be events that come right after, you know, there's gonna be multiple seven days events. So after your first line of events, there's gonna be, um, I believe an event where you have to use your gems to get ranking, but it's up to you if you want to do it. It's not mandatory, but the rewards are fairly good if you're spending a lot of gems I mean if you're getting a lot of gems daily then do it uh, there's also an event like that on the very start which is I'll show you guys soon but for the guy just for the sake of the guide I'm gonna be going I'm gonna be leaning more towards the free-to-play players definitely um okay and for another tip everybody's shop when you start the game is gonna look exactly like this now if you're a free-to-play player or just a player in general my tip for you is don't refresh this because these breakstones I would think if you can get to 2,000 gems or give and take then buy the thousand breakstone because a thousand breakstones is enough to get I believe two two or three characters to level 80 might be two might be only two but for, for the start to have level 80 characters on the day one, it's very good. Especially if you need it. Especially because breakstones are hard to get at the start if you're not topping up. The same thing goes to XP. Now, I'm doing uh, this video on PC just to make it easier so you guys can actually see the screen better. And, you know, you guys can see what I'm clicking and how I'm doing it. Rather than on my phone. Okay, one thing people need to know about how you're getting your gems at the start. First, you're gonna be getting your gems through summon, and you're gonna be getting your gems through shipyard. Now, every every task you complete is 50 gems. I believe there's a total of four tags for each. There's a total of four tags, so you're getting 150 gems. Every, no, my bad, you're getting 200 gems. 200 gems for every ship you complete, and I believe, unless I'm wrong, there might be five ships so that's a thousand gems just for completing your task. This is why I believe that doing your main story mode is ideal at the start and a quicker way to get to get these gems. I'll show you guys soon once I'm able to. Would be oh hold up. Yeah, once I'm able to show you guys, I'll show you. So let's just go through here. Don't let me do this. Huh? So I like memorized it. <laughs> Doing this. So there, I got my first two hundred gems. Now I save that. Now formations. I have a formation video. This is how you do your ship. If you want to do this, if you want to um, switch ships, you click cancel right here. Then you pick a different one, which there'll be a confirm button. And that's how you switch ships. You'll click formation and your ship is now in your formation and it will switch over for all the other events quick idle rewards if you're vi if you're free to play you only have a maximum of eight hours so i recommend that you log on every eight hours at least or you're just wasting your time i mean you're just like letting time go on for no reason and getting no rewards when you could be getting rewards so that's another tip right there Um, I think for the start, just since it might take a while for the gems to come in, uh, we're looking at factions, depending on what you pull first, 
I think your first five star. Now we're gonna get into that once we get into that. Let's just focus on this. So basically, here's what I want to tell you guys. So quick battle. Um, doing this, you get five chances. Uh, it goes up from a hundred. No, it goes up from fifty to a hundred to two hundred gems. Um, I believe this is worth it because, like I said, if you look, every ship has a specific goal in mind. Clear stage twenty. Now. You can get stuck on stages because your XP doesn't go up as fast as you really think it does. It goes up as it goes up quickly in the start, but then once you start going up the stages, it starts getting slower and slower. And so this quick battle, using it at the start, lets you it, it boosts you in level. So I believe if I'm to use this, I might hit level 10. Now I'm gonna be five levels ahead of the story. Because I believe the story goes in intervals of twos. Because I believe on my main account, I had to be level 81 to do the story. Then I had to hit level 83 to do the story. You know what I'm saying? So quick battle is definitely one way to boost you. It's not it's not the recommended way to spend your gems. But definitely, if you're free to play and you want to keep up with people that can just skip the story mode from having VIP, this is one way. Because you're not you don't have that option to skip. And sometimes, depending on your team, at the start, you might lose... Or the story mode might just go so long that you don't want to sit here for everything. You also, th you also have to think you're being a you being a free to play and non VIP. You don't have extra idle idle hours. So that's just another tip. It's not meant. It's not um mandatory, but it's definitely recommended from my from my knowledge. It's a recommended thing to do. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it in the future. But at the start, it's definitely useful because you definitely at the start is when is where the game is still balanced a little bit, you know. Unless you have somebody going crazy with the top ups, like I'm talking VIP, you know, six and more. But at the start, that's definitely where the game balance. And if you have, if you know this basic knowledge, you can topple over people that spend because spending still has its limits. VIP five. Of course, you're getting a free you're, you're getting a free law, but there's still luck side to it. I seen free to play players with Whitebeard and Mihawk day one. So, at the end of the game, the game is luck. The money aspect comes in depending on what you buy. And I'm gonna make a wow. Well, well, not right now, but I think if you're definitely a person that plays to spend, it's better not to spend at the start because. Based on what I know, I wish somebody would have told me earlier. I wish the game would have just had something, you know, that would say these are future events or they would have these events are coming, you know, but we didn't know. We spent our gems, you know, we spent we spent our money and our gems. So, you know, now we're broke or we just don't feel like spending anymore. But there's definitely future events that are worth the same amount of money you're going to spend at the start. That's just another tip to look out for. There's gonna be better packs. The hundred dollar packs in the stores, nothing are nothing is really worth it other than the one that gives you three purple ruins. But that's really about it. The faction crystals, eh, you can get those other ways. But let's keep going back. Let's get back on track to the guy. So, you do your story mode. level up you just keep going through the basics there's not much i can really say you know just because it's just a this is just them showing us what to do so i just want to get past the tutorial part first then get more into my guide so we gotta sit through this together all right this a lot of people might know this but every summon you do is going to get you gems. Well, not every summon. Every summon you do at the start, you're guaranteed at least 10 new players. Unless you somehow, you're getting duplicates over and over and over. So, every summon is probably guaranteed at least 1,000 gems back. Which is good. Or 700 gems back. But as the game, as you start getting more into the game and... And the time goes on, you're just doing summons for your own, like, you know, your own good. But it's definitely summons at the start. 
are definitely useful. So if you can, no matter what summon it is, basics, friendship, basic friendship, do those. Just hope you get somebody new. Um, that way you're getting your free gems just at the start. So that's definitely something you want to do. That's another way to accumulate gems, just doing summons. But once you start to notice that I have like half of the characters, then just don't don't spend don't spend gems on summons. That's one thing I want you guys to remember. Don't spend these gems. Don't spend gems. Don't do it like this. If you see this, don't do that. It's not worth it. But you can get free basic summons from going here. Once you hit level 12, Voyage unlocks. I'm gonna show you guys Voyage since uh shoot. I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. Thank you, don't want ace. I'm also tell you guys why doing this though is also a good reason why you just use all my gems for quick battle. I made gems back while doing that. I'm gonna tell you guys why. But as you click voyage, now this is gonna happen for I believe every new account gets at least one good once good voyage. These are actually too good. But basically, you'll see these summons right here. You can get basic summon tickets. And at the start, if you want to, you can spend 60 gems. Um, if you think about it, 60 gems, I'm gonna get a new I'm gonna get a new character, or maybe not even a new character. But I have a chance. It's a chance that I'm getting my 60. I just spent 60. It's a chance. That I'm getting gems back so it's worth it depending on how you look at the situation all right and the reason another reason that quick battles you saw I think I just spent around maybe 600 maybe 500 gems just to do it no way more than that maybe six six to seven hundred gems to do all that quick battle but I leveled up to level 10 every five no yeah, every five levels, 500 gems. Just want you guys to know that. So quick battle, it's also a way to level up faster so you can unlock things faster. If you're looking to boost bounty, unlocking unlocking challenges is definitely the way to go. If you're looking to play the slow game, then I don't recommend using gems on quick battle. Just play it out and you'll get to that level eventually. But definitely at the start, you don't want to fall behind. So I recommend doing quick battle. But the day after, it's really up to you how you want to spend your gems. Another thing. Here's the thing I was saying. Exchange for belly. Now, this, now after this seven-day period is over, there's going to be an event called Ex Quick Battle, which is basically what I was just showing you, where you will spend gems and you will try to get into ranking. So belly, which is your coins, currency, you exchange. Now, the VIP level, as you go up, you get more chances. Now, as a free-to-play player, what I recommend is only doing the free ones. Uh, I wouldn't try to compete in this because your odds of actually becoming first is bad. But being a free-to-play, you're being a free-to-play, you might be able to fall into one of these. You know, maybe if you're lucky, it's top 200. So if you're doing... If you're if you're doing you know belly every day just the free ones you have a chance of falling into the top 200 because let's be serious there there might not be 200 there might not be a thousand players that stay at the end of the day I mean not even there might not even be 200 players in the servers you know let's just be honest with ourselves like at the end of the day by the end of the server by the end of the seven day period there might not even be 200 players in the game anymore. Who knows? That's just how it is. But let's keep going. These are things that you get for free. I wouldn't recommend buying these. They're tempting. The Zoro is really... He's, the 300 gems, for what he is, he's worth it. Um, but I wouldn't recommend really spending your gems on these as because... 300 gems I could probably find a way to save that to get my first five star Let's See shipyard I believe I should get more 
challenge arena three times cool just remember to always you can click here so nothing you can go here you can leave out your fighting you can check your events so you can do stuff simultaneously that's another thing you want to do instead of just thinking oh i'm stuck here i need vip skip is useful if you're planning to just skip if like just flash by the story mode but there's more ways to use your time if you're free to play you can look to do other events So that's just the thing I want you to know um, as a free to play, you know, the game's not unfair to you just because you're not allowed to skip through the story. The only difference that you're going to have compared to someone like me is that I'm going to be able to level faster than you and I'm going to be able to unlock stuff faster than you. newbie event so to explain this event basically uh this pack right here is 19 dollars. now if you choose to buy this that's great but you don't have to but you'll get a free usopp as well as your free jinbei as you log in tomorrow so that's two free five stars off the bat um jinbei is a very good five star to use at the start as he's very damage based so he's he does a lot of damage and definitely at the start a lot of teams you're gonna see are gonna probably be consistent of no tanks if any tank at all um people might have chopper if they don't have chopper then they have a better healer but that's not guaranteed so having that type of dps at the start is very good and if you want to see jimbei oh another thing you click archives go to any characters this is how you can see characters your stats without having them so you can just look at characters and um to tell what's the you know rarest character in certain factions if you are new to one piece or just don't know the characters click here go to advance oh lower percentage you know okay what does he do right why is he so low that's how you can start looking at characters but all characters with low percentage doesn't mean they're good at start game. Like Blackbeard, for example. He's real good, but you have to keep leveling him up. But there's going to be more explanation of that in the tier list. So let me go to Arena for the last one. And then I remember I had to attack Arena three times. Let's go back to the tavern, basically. Sorry, somebody came in my room. All right, go back to Jinbei. So you can get some information on him. Now, the reason he's good, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have Jinbei at level one. He attacks front target, which would be tank in this situation, unless there's not a tank. Uh, he ignores that defense. So since the player you're gonna be facing won't have a tank, he's already ignoring t tanks. Are the only people that are really getting that, or that are really um upping their defense or damage reduction so imagine knowing somebody like luffy he has well he's a tank but okay let's do a better example imagine knowing somebody like Zoro. he has no defense on him already that means this damage is going up by 10 percent and he increases his own attack by 15 percent which lasts his three turns um i believe it can't be purged but i might be wrong about that it might be he has attack plus 20%, HP plus 10%. If you want to, you can use him as a tank. Jinbei, he's eh, not the best tank in my opinion, but he's not the best DPS to use as a tank, but definitely if you feel like using him as a tank. Um, his second attack, which you get, I believe, after you break around three to four times, attack front and middle targets. Damage is high. He reduced crit, which really isn't that important start game because not a lot of people are going to have characters that are critting unless they get lucky but the front and middle targets especially having characters that attack targets in the middle is very good because a lot of people are going to tend to put their dps in the middle at start game because they just want to know how to position uh another thing about him his last ability every attack increases self-attack by five percent so since it can be stacked it can go up 
and up and up and more. So he's very good at start game, like I said. But there's way better character. There's better characters to, than him as you get later in. It's good at start, definitely. All right. Just wanted to explain some stuff about Jinbei, just in case you guys are curious to if you should use him if you get him. Um, yeah, I think it's best if I explain the free five stars you're getting, just so you guys are interested. If you're interested in using them. Or how effective they are start game. So let's let's explain New World Usopp a little bit. So New World Usopp DPS, just like Jinbei, is he stronger than Jinbei? Um, not really. It's definitely not better than Jinbei, but he has his use. He can go with Jinbei. He at let's go through this first one. He attacks the front, deals 153%. I believe Jinbei did 180 damage, and then he has 60% chance to burn. Now, the reason I'll say this would go with Jinbei, you're having two people that attack the front, the front unit, and having a chance to burn, burn, which unit loses 15 HP over time based on his based on his attack, which is 153. So burning is also another way to, it's a great way to get rid of tanks. So say your person has a tank, well, I'm every every possession. <sighs> my bad. Every, over time, they're losing HP. So and so, and he also has a twenty percent chance to heal. No, he heals. My bad. He heals twenty percent based on the damage he does. So heals himself. It's nice. He's like a. Mm, he's like Zoro in a way with the healing, because Zoro kills when he heals. So that's definitely useful for a DPS to have. Um, this is basic 10%, 5%. Jinbei started with 15% attack, uh, attack front base target and deal 220 increased debuff resistant by 15%. Last turns deal 20% dodge. So his burn is useful if the target is burned, which remember it's a 60% chance. 60, uh, you have a 40% chance of it not working, so it might work more than more than less if the target's burned. Usopp does more damage, so Usopp really helps himself out. Um, Debus resistant. Mm, it's useful, but at the start, there might not be a lot of people using characters with debuff. So, I recommend using Usopp. My bad. <clears throat> I recommend using Usopp um, at the start, but he's definitely a fodder. Fodder? Fodder? That's how you say it? Fodder character? <laughs> well, if you can... Replace him with Jinbei, but if you don't get anybody better than Usopp, uh, then use him and Jinbei together. They work well. Usopp does burn damage and uh, raw damage, and Jinbei does the same thing. Raw damage, but not no burn damage. So two raw damage characters at the start is very useful. The only thing, the only thing I regret about Usopp is that he only attacks the front, and that's the thing. You don't want to have a lot of characters that attack the front characters. Because like I said, remember, it's either going to be the weakest character or the tank in the front. Now let's get the Zoro that you're going to get for free. Now where you're putting characters in formation based on positioning. Let's look at here. This is how you want to position. Look what, look what they are. Well, she's a DPS. Well... Okay, I can put her in the front. She's a DPS just like Zoro. But yeah, remember, there's, there's also... Let me explain the attacks. There's rear. This is rear. This is a line. Now, Borsalino does line attacks. This is a line. This is one line. This is front. This is middle. Now, at the start, you would think to put the, your Zoro up here would be nice. Now it is. But like I just showed you, Jinbei attacks middle. You don't want your Zoro dying early on. You don't want Chopper dying early on. Luffy's your tank. So of course he goes up here. So put the characters that are either your weakest or unreliable in the middle. Because them dying first does nothing to your team. Other than losing the character, does nothing. So that's how you want to look at formation in the start. Unless 
you know, the person has a kid or a Mihawk, then you're going to have to be more tactical with your formation. But that's based on who you're facing. So formations, you can change it based on who you're facing. Now, equipment, give it to your best character. Oh, I didn't even finish my, my bad. Best character on my team would be Zoro. Let's unequip this. Just click quick equip. Second best character would be Chopper. Uh, tank. Your tank. You always want your tank to have the third best equipment. Um, no matter what your tank is. Because you want your tank to be able to survive. At least, you know, three rounds at least. Because like I said, the start is most of it's going to be front attack. So your tank is going to be taking heavy damage. And you know, if your supports are bare. If your supports or your damage DPS is barely even doing damage, and then your tank is just taking damage for no reason. No, just sitting there to look pretty. And let's be honest, Luffy's not that pretty. Cute, but not that pretty. I'm trying to see what else I can show you guys, because time is not on our side. This was actually the issue I was thinking about making a guy, because yesterday I made a, I recorded a video it was like 45 minutes and I was like well I could upload this but I won't 45 minutes is a long time I don't know who would just sit here and watch 45 minutes of me talking and you know I tend to rum I tend to like ramble on sometimes so it's like I lose topic you know and it's like well I wouldn't watch that and I don't know how many people want to watch that so I'm hoping to make this shorter, but the tutorial definitely makes it longer because I can't really show you guys what I want to show you guys without completing the tutorial, which is the part that I really hate. But yeah, at least we're sitting here together. Um, I want to get more like, I think here's how we're going to do it. Once I'm able to get the amount of gems I want, I'm going to stop talking about gems then tomorrow hopefully i'm able to join a clan then i'm gonna or i'll just go on a different account and i'll explain the value of having a clan at a very very start how valuable it is to you and how you can use it um what else tavern that's pretty self-explanatory arena i can explain the value of arena but it's not really valuable because champion is really where most of your arena points are going to come from. Like the tokens, that's where you're going to get the most tokens. This is, it's okay. This is, if you just want to see where you rank personally, I don't fight in arena all the time. I feel like it's a waste well, of gems. Uh, let's see, because I'm trying to plan out how I want to explain this. Event. Not buying this, sorry. Events. Special trials. Uh, okay. This will this will be here every day for seven days. It'll be here for specific hours. So there's each levels to it, you know, basically. It goes up bounty every day. So the bounty doesn't stay the same. So you have to get stronger as this. Um you should be able to beat the easy on the first day. You should be able to beat the easy constantly. If you're not able to beat the hard levels so like i said this game's not you know bashing on people that aren't spending money like they're still letting you have a chance to compete that's just something i want you guys to know so don't look at this game and think i have to spend money to be good because i don't know who i'm losing to but i'm losing and i'm Losing to a guy lower level than me. You see, he's a lower level than me and everything, but he's leveling up his characters. I haven't leveled up anybody yet. You see, levels matter. Doesn't matter on levels. It's doesn't matter on like your character level or anything. Levels of your characters matter more, which is why I say breakstones are very important. These are important at the start. And XP, breakstone and XPs. Breakstone. Here's here's the order I'll put it. Gems. Breakstones, XP. The most valuable things you want once you start the game. Uh, let's just for, let's look at the rankings. Let's see who's number one. VIP three. He got lucky. Cause VIP three really doesn't get you that much. 
but he got lucky on pulls. This guy, VIP4. Why is he below him? Well, look at it. These two, Vista's not, Vista's really not that good. Be honest with you, Crocodile's not bad. His poison ability is nice for the start. But Mihawk, I wish I could see this guy formation. But what I'm thinking likely happens is Mihawk's lowering his attack and attacking whoever is in his back at early. And also, he has a tank. Having a tank and a heal works. And that's another thing I want you guys to remember. Keep chop. <sighs> of course he does it. Keep Chopper in until you get a better support. Chopper is going to be your main guy for the longest until you get a better support. And that's something people overlook. Healing in this game is very important. Healing sometimes actually wins you the battle. Purchase item in the black market. Now I actually have to buy stuff. Um, There's two ways I could do this. Like I said, these breakstones are important. I'm going to show you why they're important for the video's sake. So let's just buy this. Um, just something cheap. Okay, we're done. I uh, wish I could show you guys everything, but these tutorials are so long. <sighs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and get to what I wanted to explain to you guys. Okay. So summonings, you know, I was telling you it's important. I was telling you not to spend gems on summonings like, like this way. So you guys are probably wondering, well, Ivory, how do you get more tickets then? Because there's no, do I have to wait for the second day? I mean, the third day? Yes and no. Do I have to spend money? Yes and no. Uh... You can level up and get some. That's another way. But most thing people overlook. There's this. It's go. You go to privilege. You go here. Nine hundred eighty. Gets you five. Put some breakstones. <sighs> Almost two thousand gems. Gets you ten. So basically, you will spend around three thousand gems. You'll get this, which is fifteen. Um, I should have ten already. I mean, actually, I have five already, so I'm going to have a total of 20. If I'm lucky, I'm getting a rebate of 2,000 gems back. If I'm unlucky, I'm getting a rebate of 1,500 gems. So, spending those gems, but if I'm lucky, I'm getting two to four or five stars off the bat. Which is, which is very good, because five stars... Are what's gonna elevate you above the competition as well as healing having a five star a decent a good five star not just any five star having a good five star <laughs> and a consistent healer is what elevates you above the rest <clears throat> oh, so except friends do all this God, I feel like this is going slower than yesterday. <sighs> well, yesterday video was 45 minutes. You know, these videos are like 45 minutes. I'm actually just gonna. I hope this one isn't as long. And I'm gonna have to like really think how to shorten these down. Hold on, somebody's calling me. I wanna. Okay. Thought my phone was in silent, but I guess it's not. Uh. 
You're all sitting here. Turn up warning. I feel like I couldn't make the guide without actually sitting through all this, but then it wouldn't be as authentic, you know, because I feel like the guide, I have to go through it myself to show you guys why you have to do this and why you actually have to do that. Um, but a quick tip for those who actually do want to spend money, $5 gets you the VIP too. And the reason I say $5 is because you can buy this, lets you skip battles in arena and story mode. Only those two places can you skip battles all right, with that $5 packs. But that gets you to VIP too. Um, this just showed me that we've been here for 32 minutes. 32 minutes, guys. Yay. Let's keep it up. <sighs> um, yeah, I might not. I'm probably going to cut the video off soon. Once I get the amount of gems I want to show you guys what I want to get the five star character first to actually use the breakstone. But this is actually my luck is so terrible today. Purple, nice. That was actually worked. You know, two new people. 200 gems. One more minute and I get, I've been online for 38 minutes. Okay. I feel like this is slower than yesterday. No reason at all, actually. Maybe it's because I'm not beating them as fast as I was yesterday. Let's actually just level up. So as you see, I might be able to, with that thousand breakstone I bought, I'm able to get. If, if I had more XP, I would be able to get Zoro to a higher level. So like I said, XP and breakstones definitely go hand in hand. Now. Where'd you get XP from? Ah, uh, don't use gems, like I said. Possible, don't use gems. You can't get lucky, you don't get lucky. Sad truth. That's also the curse of playing free to play. You have to rely on luck more than anything. But don't use your gems to refresh the stop the shop at the start. Even if it's 30 gems, it's not worth it. Those 30 gems can be valuable to you. Uh, also, as well, formation doesn't base the order of attack. Just for you guys to know, I can have loot, I can have Zoro up here and he still wouldn't attack first. Speed is what make people's goals first. Just for you guys wondering why I don't put my Zoro up front. That doesn't really matter that much. Okay, okay, cool. I'm gonna get these gems, nice. I feel like yesterday I got the gems way faster than this. Or maybe it's because Um, frames, this is going to be the first available frame that you're going to be able to get, say, in about two weeks. Yeah, in about two weeks. Okay, okay, cool. I should be able to get this stuff now. Everything that I need. Level up. But, so you see, by the time you hit level 15, if you don't spend the amount of gems I did, which I probably spent, like, probably a thousand five hundred gems you would have almost four thousand gems so like I said it's a give and take process if you're planning to play the long run uh, it's definitely better to save um, also this is the only thing you can skip while being free to play so I recommend you skip it gives you breakstone gives you belly it's very useful 
this right here challenge clan boss you need to be in a clan impel down okay this is where clans start becoming important actually which can't join a clan yet Fifty. Reach level twenty. All right, we're just gonna do the summons real quick. Uh, I want to get to this. I need around like five hundred more. I got a faction crystal, huh? Did I? Didn't notice. Okay, I'm trying to get XP. This is this is also good to try to get XP and belly at because it gives both of the nice faction crystals. You go here, made a video on that if you want to go look at it. It's called faction informations. But like I said, easiest faction is to probably go for it to start. It's the pirates. Voyage. Nope. Claimable. 200 gems. Sanji for free. Okay. I need like 200 more gems and I can do this. You know what? I actually don't even need it. Because I'm going to get gems from don't get it. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's do our first 10 summon. Nice, we pulled somebody. I was scared that I was gonna get all purples. Nice, New World Brook. New World Brook is very useful to put. He has freeze, I believe he has heal. And if I'm not wrong, it's something else that's very useful at the start. But, <clears throat> that alone allowed me to pull around I believe probably five new characters that I didn't have yeah around five um once you do that <clears throat> you don't have to go back and buy this but I'm doing it just for the sake of the video <sighs> I was so scared though like after that video I made I've been scared to do something so I won't lie to you Oh wow, nice card. See, this this was worth it though. Uh, you can also click you can just click the uh, people to get your gems. Uh, but since I already have everybody here, it's not worth it. But basically spent around 3k gems, got my gems back. Now I can make a five star chopper. Cause I got lucky. Remember, you're gonna get that one free chopper if you get lucky on summons. And now look at my team. What did I just go from? I went from this, right? This is what I have now. And this is what I have now. Uh, DPS slash tank because of his immunity. Or I can play a real tank, which I'm gonna do. Here, I don't want him to die early. I don't want Brooke to die early, but I also don't want my healers to die. This formation is not that good. And now, Rebirth, even though he's my level 50, he's not my best character on my team. The reason I say that is because the best character on this team would be Guard. What do I do now? Now, I get the best character that I possibly can to the highest level possible. And remember, this is what you want to do when you get a character. You want to get them to the highest level possible because this is your best character. But like I said, XP is always gonna hold you back. So unless you have more XP than I did, what I recommend is balancing. I thought I could get into 100. So balance did not mean to click that. So when I say balance, I believe I might be able to get all my characters to 40. So we're gonna do that.
And remember, when I get to 40, you get this. When I get him to, is this 50? He gets this. So get your best character that you can to 50 first. Make sure your healer goes up there. Even though Burgess isn't the best tank to use, make sure he goes somewhere. Now that you can start, now that you have a balance a bit, now you start boosting your best character. Best character has the best weapons. Second best character on this team. Most crazy, it probably would be Zoro, but Brook is nice as well. You want your healer to be decent. Uh, he's okay. He's, a, he's not a bad thing. I'm just not a fan. Uh, if you want to, because the third break, you'll get their skills. Well, you have to, oh, you have to hit 50. It's actually it's, it's crazy. But you see, just by buying that thousand that I did buy, all my characters were able to hit level 50. Almost all my characters were able to get to level 50. My healer, wait, is it like this? Now has a third ability. So now I have a useful healer, a useful tank slash DPS. And my team, and my, the rest of my team is getting there. So what I recommend, get all your characters level 50 first, then start building. And that thousand breakstone that you bought at the start should be more than enough. Which, like I said, it's definitely my way isn't the only way to play the game and it's not the best recommended way but it's definitely useful for the start and now when you get that Jinbei well when I get Jinbei I'll switch out Burgess put the, put Garp up here put Jinbei back here and keep Zoro here and I would use Zoro over Usa newer Usa just because of Zoro's abilities But I feel like this tutorial has ran its course. We were able to get a lot of information about starting, um, why it's worth doing certain things, how you can spend your gems. Um, tomorrow, I'll be on a different account going through the value of clans and why you want to be in one at very early. Or if you make your own clan, how how you can make your own clan. But thanks for watching the video. I'm pretty tired myself. I hope this video didn't run longer than I really wanted it to. Oh, it is what it is, though. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all have a good night.